Before I start sharing with you my testimony, I would like to make a declaration. Sir Chan, I am not great and I refuse to read and write. Can I be a millionaire? <laughs> Thank you, M. Goa. Ang gusto ko i-share sa inyo ngayong umaga, hindi ako bago sa AIM Global until we joined my wife registered in 2007. But before I continue sharing with you my testimony, I would like to give a little background kung sino po ako. Sinabi na po, meron kita ako pangalan, I'm Edwin Poblacion Sulit. Ano po? Kasi po, dalawa po kami ang Edwin Sulit po dito eh. Kaya, ako po, Poblacion. So, I'm a surgeon by profession, but I used to, I used to serve the government, no? I choose to serve a hospital in the province. Sapagat gusto po namin yung balanced lifestyle, okay? Gusto ko yung medyo relax naman, you know? No. Maraming klase po ng mga okay, doktor. Karamihan yeah, po sa mga doktor dito po sa nagpa-flux sa Manila kasi gusto nila yung lucrative yung practice nila. Sabalit, so, mayroong grupo din mga doktor na gusto nilang doon sila mag-serve sa mga less fortunate. At kami po yon. So habang po ako nag... Right after ng aking graduation and uh, I took the board exam in 1992, I immediately served the province that po ako nag-start na aking practice sa San Jose Physical Hospital sa San Jose Occidental Mindoro. I served the government for almost 15 years. I started in 1992 and ended in 2006. 1992 po hanggang 2003, nandun po ako sa San Jose Occidental Mindoro. But noong 2003 po, my mother had a problem, heart problem. Okay? Yung mga kapatid ko po, mga nurses sila lahat, pumunta na po sila sa ibang bansa. So wala na po makasama ang aming nanay. My mother had a uh, complete heart block. And she was due for pacemaker insertion. Okay. Dahil wala na pong mag-aalaga sa kanila, we finally decided to go home. Tapagat po kami ay taga Gimaras. Gimaras Island po kami. Yung lugar po namin ay matamis sapagat ang manga po na pinakamatamis ay matatagpuan po sa amin sa Gimaras Island. Malakpakan po natin. So, umuwi po kami. And in short, naoperahan po yung mother ko and last year pumunta na po sila sa US. She was restored back to health. Okay. Nung nandun po kami sa Gimaras, nag-serve na rin po ako ulit as chief of hospital ng ng district hospital sa province namin. And this is my time for to, to pay back. Ano po, doon ako nagaling pero nagumpisa ko ng service ko as a doctor. Hindi naman po sa probinsya namin. Sabi ko, sige, ito nung panahon na para magbayad na naman ako sa, sa probinsya namin. So I served there. Habang nandun po ako, narealize ko na anak pala ko, ako, ng isang nanay may, na may sakit sa puso. At ating paniniwala po na pag ang sakit sa puso Ang isang pamilya ay mayroong sakit sa puso o ang magulang may sakit sa puso, ito po ay napapamana din sa kanyang mga anak. So nag-isip pa po na I have to change my lifestyle. So I became interested with the preventive side. Habang nandun po ko nagsiserve, medyo relax naman pang buhay, so I had a chance to took up nursing. In our medical textbook, hindi ko po natutunan ito. So, balit, nung nag-take up ako ng nursing, I learned that health pala, health is a continuum. It's from death to ultimate health. Okay. What happens is that usually, tayo po, no, yung mga tao, hindi nila binibigyan ng pansin ang kanilang kalusugan kung wala silang nararamdaman, di ba? Sabihin natin, ayaan mo na lang. Pag may sakit tayo, pag may nararamdaman, punta na lang tayo sa doktor. Tama po. Yun po ang sinabi ni Rini Dobos. Rini Dobos is one of the renowned bacteriologists in olden times. And sabi po niya, to ward off disease or recover from health, men find it easier to depend on the healers than to find to, than to try a most difficult way of living wisely. Yun po naging ugali ng tao. Kaya po, nahawa na rin po yung mga doktor. Ang doktor hindi na rin makakatil sa mga, sa mga tao na walang karamdaman. Nagiging cycle po yun. Okay? 
Yung mga tao hindi pumapata sa doktor pag walang karamdaman, ang mga doktor hindi na rin makapag-treat sa mga tao na walang karamdaman. Salamat po sa M-Global sa pagkat. Okay? Yung ating produkto po, kahit walang karamdaman, ang lahat na tao na nandito ngayon at lahat na tao sa buong mundo ay nangailangan ng ating supplement po na C24-7. Salamat po kay Sir Morris, Dr. Morris po nag-invent ito ang ating C24-7. Ang unang-una po na beneficiary noon ay ako. Sabi nga po, to see is to believe. Kung hindi mo mapatunayan sa sarili mo at hindi mo makita, hindi ka maniniwala. Ganun po talaga yung tao. ba? Diba? Isang araw po habang ako ay nandun nag-serve sa Gimaras, somebody called me and invited jo to me to join the pharma company. In the past six years, I was, I was serving or I was employed. No? Kasi yun pong namulatan natin eh. Mag-aral ka para mag-employed ka. So, to start my career, employed na po ko. Employed ako sa government. And in 2006, my classmate who owned the pharma company invited me to join him. Nandito lang po kami sa TechTide. Doc Ed. Nandiyan lang po kami. Because he joined in the politics, so I, I joined him, I helped him. But one day, because of so much stress, we joined in government tenders. The last bidding I won before I left was a 5,000 units of bed worth 150 million project in the government. That's a nation nationwide delivery. Malaking, malaking uh, project po, subalit yung boss ay hindi pa rin kontento, no? Pressure pa rin na pressure. Dito po sa Imlobal, iba, no? Ang apply mo, tatawag sa inyo, hindi para i-pressure ka, kundi i-encourage ka. Palakpakan po natin ang Imlobal. Kaya po, I made a decision. Sige po, tuloy po muna ninyo. I made a decision. Ngayon po, pinapabalik ako doon sa company, but I decided not to go back. But I, I decided to go full-time here at Imlobal because here, it's not a pressure, but it's an encouragement and help from your upline. Palakpakan po natin ulit ang ating mga upline. So, ganun pong nangyari sa akin. So, ang una po, ako po mismo. While serving, while joining in a former company, one day, I developed a severe back pain. Nag-deliver po kami ng anesthesia machine. We want 22 units of anesthesia machine po sa DOH. Dineliver ko po sa Buanga. Then, I started helping them to put the anesthesia machine down from the, from, the, from the car, from the van. And then, suddenly when I went home, I experienced a severe pain in my back. So, I had the consultation in the hospital and I was diagnosed spondylosis at level number one and number two. Ilan po sa atin dito yung mga doctors and medical practitioners, taas yung pangyong kamay. I know you can understand. The next slide, please. So, last, that was August 2012. Ito po yung MRI na kinuha sa akin, nakita po ninyo, sira na po yung aking spine, L1 and L2. The disc totally disintegrated. Nakita po ninyo puti na, gas, gas na po. Okay, next slide please. And there's so much restrictions. Kinabahan na po ako dito kasi hindi na po ako makapagtrabaho. Sabi ko, magkukulay yung malay niyo panganay ko. And he planned also to take up medicine. And because... Ang kanyang lolo po ay mayroong brain tumor. Gusto niya pa, ang ambisyon niya ay maging isang neurosurgeon. So paano na lang po ngayon? I have so much restrictions. I cannot run because I'm also a runner. I don't po si, si, si Sir Miguel because I am also a half marathoner. Yes sir, paturo po ako sa inyo, pa-mentor po ako. No weight-bearing exercises. Sabagat po, lalo masira po yung ibang mga spine ko pa na hindi nasira. No travel more than two hours by land. So paano na po ako makapagtrabaho? Because in my work, I have to travel all throughout the Philippines and also not only in the Philippines, but many parts of the world. I had a chance to travel at Cape Town in Africa. I had a chance to travel also in, in the U.S. I visited a, a pharma company carrying uh, anesthesia, uh, uh, sevoflurane. Uh, the company is uh, located in New Jersey. Their, the company is named Halo Carbon. So, ganun pong nangyari. I had also, I had the privilege also to travel around the world. But this time, hindi na po ako makatravel. Paano na lang ang mangyari sa buhay namin? Including the education of my children. Next slide, please. So the treatment includes rehabilitation exercises, pain medications, food supplements, 
And my doctor said, the neurosurgeon, neurospine surgeon from PGH advised me, sabi niya, Dok, kung hindi matagal ang sakit, hindi mag-respond sa rehab, search John or rehabs, idol ko po kayo kasi yun din po nakatulong sa pagpagaling ng likod ko. Sabi niya, so bari, kung hindi gumaling likod mo, we have the choice but to conduct operation. Nalagyan po natin ng kalso para hindi po maipit yung spinal accessory nerve ninyo. So ganun po ang advice niya sa akin. Salamat. I changed my lifestyle. I changed my diet. Next slide, please. I explored many options. One, I enrolled in a cheap program in Manila Sanitarium and Hospital which teaches us to eat fresh foods, avoid uh, highly processed foods as much as possible. You eat fruits and vegetables fresh. Sapagkat po yung enzymes ay hindi pa nasisira by heat. Tama po, Doc Morris. And I also explored autologous stem cell. Ang stem cell po ay famous ngayon. Di ba? Tama. Stem cell. I also trained stem cell so that I will understand fully. Maybe it would help my, my disc no? to regenerate. Yun din po ang isa sa mga options ko. And I also enrolled in naturopathic medicine. Uh, Corinthian Naturopathic uh, College based in Glendale. So I begin to understand that also there's a practice in the U.S. what they call orthomolecular doctor. I don't, I, I, I'm not sure if the doctor is also an orthomolecular doctor. Orthomolecular medicine believes that in our body there's an optimum level of nutrition and degenerative diseases. Many of the diseases will manifest, the symptoms will manifest if there's an imbalance in that nutrition. Mostly depletion, I believe, because we cannot get any more the proper nutrition that we expect from the food that we eat because the soil in the first place is already, is already depleted. Is that correct? Yes. Imbalance po. Basic Filipino diet. What is a basic Filipino diet? Rice and fish, di ba? So ano naman makukuha natin? Protein lang? At sa carbohydrates. How about the other supplements? Thanks to AIM Global. Nature's way because they invented or developed the C24-7, the most complete supplement I can find in the market. Para pagkat po natin yun, tuloy po. Wala na po ako makita ng supplement na mas kompleto pa kaysa complete at C24-7. Ang complete complete na dinagdagan pa, lalo pang kinompleto dinagdagan pa ng anti-aging. Para pagkat po natin yun yung C24-7. So ang ginawa ko po, mahirap din po mag-prepare ng food, especially kung nag-travel kayo. Kasi nag-improve na po yung symptoms ko. When I go back to, our doc to my doctor, after taking C24-7, okay, regular ko po, because it's a complete nutrition already, my doctor was surprised. Sabi niya, Dok, wala ka ng symptoms, hindi ka na-operahan. Palakpakan po natin ulit. It is because of C24-7 that the pain in my back was gone. And I'm no longer a candidate for surgery. Next po, hindi lang po sa akin. Ang amin pong mga father, ang father and mother-in-law po ay nakatira sa amin. My wife is there. I would like her to stand also for acknowledgement, please. Yeah, she's there. Okay, yung father niya po, veterano rin po ito. Isa na lang pong kidney. Inopera po multiple stones. Long time ago. And in the year 2003, nagka-seizure po siya. Ang tagal po ng seizure niya, siguro mga dalawang oras. In Russia sa hospital, marami hospital dinala niya. Eventually, he was operated, admitted. Next slide, please. Next slide. Next case. Ay, sorry po. Ang second case pala is a high blood pressure. Yung mother po niya is a candidate, is a, is a, is a, has a high blood pressure. Ano po? The highest PP is 200 over 110. This mother, in law of mine, is maintained several antihypertensive drugs and the latest was amlodipine 10 milligrams once a day. But because of PSAM product, Vida, okay, it has human clinical studies, right? So, kung nahihirapan po kayo magpinitay sa doktor, gamitin po ninyo Vida. It has human clinical studies, okay? Thank you po for the reminder. So, we use Vida. Sabi ko, gamitin for one week. And then, Sino po siya for one week, after one week po, next slide, tinanggal ko na po yung kanyang amlodipin. I was surprised that the BP, I'm not, sur I'm not surprised, it's expected that the BP will be maintained by Vida. 
And sa ngayon po, wala na siya ibang medications, only vida. Next slide, please. And there are some occasions pala na kung misa naubos niya sa ng vida, may three days, maintain pa rin po ang kanyang blood pressure. But cause, there is a sustained dilatation of the arteries. And the third is the patient I'm mentioning, it was diagnosed with meningioma. He was operated. Next slide, please. Yeah, that's the admitting, admitting record, admission record. Next slide, please. That's the operation record. He was operated. Hindi po na simut, hindi na ubos yung brain kasi ang tumor sa pagkat naging course po sa brain tissue. Kung uubusin po yon, maparalyze po siya totally kasi po yung part ng brain natin na po control ng movement po ay inabot yun na. Yeah. Next slide, please. So that's the clinical abstract and the biopsy states that it's a meningioma. Yeah, okay. Min mining meningothelial meningioma. Next slide, please. The patient after operation, he was discharged apparently improved without seizures. Next slide, please. Okay. And he was discharged with medication, dilantin as maintenance medication. Next slide, please. Yeah. That's after operation. Tumang-tuwa na po kami kasi wala na po siyang seizures. Salamat. Next slide, please. Subalit, noong 2009, doon na naman ulit. He developed seizure attacks again almost every day. And the dilantin was increased by the doctor. Next slide. So, balit ay kinakatakutan ng doktor. Baka po maabot na yung toxic level. So, he advised us in 2009, nagpukuna po ng assay. So, ang assay po nagsasabi na ang normal level is up to 20. Ang kanyang level po 17. So, binigyan po siya ng another medication that was difficult. Okay, next slide, please. At, good news. Next slide, please. Kahit gano'n na po, dalawa na pong gamot yan, nagsisisure pa rin siya. Sabi ng kanya neurologist, tanggapin ninyo ang katotohan niyo. Except the reality that in a lifetime of that patient, he will always experience seizure. Yun na po ang normal sa kanya. So, balit po, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa. We tried using 24-7 to this patient. And after one month of using at a maximum dose of 9 capsule a day, tandahan naman po namin in increase. After one month po, mga January po, na expected again as promised maybe the inflammation is controlled and we don't observe seizure anymore na control po kanyang seizure palakpakan po natin ulit ang sitwan to 47 next slide so he is maintained now upon the advice of our medical consultant one capsule three times a day next slide please few slides so yun po ang pasyente natin although po hindi po siya makalakad isang araw in his Pinapanalangin mo sana at makatayo siya ulit. Next slide, please. So because of this, we are now a believer of the product. And not only me, my wife, but the whole family. We had a family account. We are all a global distributor. And after one month of labor and effort. Next slide, please. Me and my eldest daughter were qualified as silver executive. Thanks to my upline, Mr. Alboro, who helped us to attain this. And we are now going to become a gold ambassador soon. Next slide, please. Okay, this during the Pangaan Festival in Gibras, I'm inviting you next year to go to our province to taste the sweetest mango in the world. And also our nature's way and also DSM guests here and from Japan, maybe. We are inviting you to our province, sir. Next slide, please. The Father of Medicine says, let your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food. Next, the last slide, as a medical doctor, it is my responsibility to cure disease, and it is my passion to promote health and prevent illness through lifestyle modification and natural surgical products by AIM Global Incorporated. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Let's give it